Welcome, everybody, to a very special <laughs> episode of The Drunken Pond. This is the anniversary year in review episode of The Drunken Pond. Uh, we're going to try to give you a little rundown of uh, our favorite games from 2020 and our least favorite games from 2020, if we can remember, because it's been so long. Yep, so we started this channel back in March of last year. Me and Maurice did. Uh huh. Basil didn't come in until later on in into the into the uh, the season. So we uh, yep. we just sort of, he loved it so much. He was I like, did. I want to be a host. And we, he bought, he begged and pleaded and cried. Yeah. And we were just like, there okay. was a lot of money exchanging. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we got him in. He's in. He's a permanent host now for as long as he wants to be anyway. But yep. Wow. There's <laughs> a. Yeah. Yeah, what? Yeah, Weird deadline on it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a deadline. The <laughs> average just was like, you know what? I don't like this anymore. I'm done. No, that's fine. I don't think we give him that option. <laughs> Why would you ever tell your employees or He's hosts employee. or anything? He's not you an know? employee. Well, it doesn't, doesn't matter. You never tell anybody that they can leave when they want to. But anyway, this giant stack <laughs> of stuff here we have on the table. This is all the games we played in 2020. Look at that. This is all okay. of them. That's amazing. Wow. Wow. Got them all. Except for King of Tokyo, because that yep. was actually a Basil game. He brought that Boom. in his own collection. Yep. But I, didn't I think mixing. We'll start with <laughs> no mixing. Let's do. Let's let's list our favorites. So okay. I'll start with me. Um, yeah. My favorite games of the that year was definitely Dwarven Smithy, of course, because we gave that one a drunken pawn. That was before Basil, though. Yeah. So Golden Pawn. Yeah. Golden, yeah, Golden Pawn. Sorry, yeah. That that was before Basil, and. I really enjoyed Evil Dead 2 and Mixtape Massacre as well. Mm -hmm. um, that, I think, we may... I have actually Escape over there now, so we may actually have end, up, end, end up doing that one here soon, too, for, like, since this month is basically the anniversary month, so... But, yeah, what do you think? Uh, I genuinely enjoyed uh, The Thing. I mm -hmm. thought that was super fun. I also loved Evil Dead and Dwarven Smithy, but I want to pick something uh, unique, so I'm not just copying Steve's. I don't want to copy paste. <laughs> so I really like the thing, and yeah, whatever um, you think is yeah, your, your opinion. I kind of enjoyed uh, New Dungeon. I thought that was mm -hmm. that was a surprising amount of oh, fun. Oh yeah, for me. that one that one was like they really did a good job of making it modern. Yeah, yeah, and like because. The first dungeon was fun, but it mm -hmm. was like there was a lot of stuff we were like, "Oh man, I need to do this and this." And then, lo and behold, they come back, come out with a new one, and they have this and this. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah. So I'm gonna pick those two as a, as some of the highlights, personal highlights. Um, I really liked the thing, Dwarven Smithy. I played it later. Yeah, post the, um. post the show. <laughs> yeah. uh, Evil Dead Two was probably my favorite that I've played here so yeah. far. That was on um, the... On or at the, least this year. Yeah, on the actual, the review thing, like, on the review intro, it has you saying you gave Evil Dead 2 a 4.5, and I was like... Because <laughs> 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 I didn't think you'd give that high, but, yeah. Uh, uh, Mixtape Massacre was also awesome. Just um, kidding, it's uh, a surprise! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> It's also Marissa's birthday month! Oh, so. that's adorable. 30, Look at all the mutants. Yeah. It's I love one for each of us. Show the people. Woo. Do you guys know which mutant is you? Oh. Nope. Yeah, I'm I the just red assigned one. that. I'm the red one. Oh, <laughs> that's beautiful. Oh, man, that's gorgeous. Happy right. birthday! Yay. I'm not singing the whole song, but you'll, <laughs> yeah. get, you'll get copyrighted. That was the that was the surprise. Not anymore. Not anymore. It expired. Oh right! Yeah. Yeah. So cool. now you can free. blow out the candles and make a wish. All right, it's COVID safe. Blow out the candles or just hog hogwash this beast. Just no, it just blow matter. it out. <laughs> <Wait. laughs> <Yeah. Ta> <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll take a little break and enjoy some cake. We're back. We took a little cake break because it is Maurice's birthday. That was kind of a little surprise for him, but uh, this is the re the year in review, 2020. Who really wants to review 2020? But we have a lot of board games to review from 2020. Mm -hmm. It was the yeah. good parts of 2020. The good parts of 2020, right? Yeah, um, sure. <clears throat> so we already kind of did the, what we liked. Uh, oh, so yeah. which ones? We'll start with Basil this time. Which ones did you just did not didn't really want to play ever again? Um. Well, I, I, even if, I mean, it doesn't have to be that harsh, but... Yeah, I mean, there's none of them that we played that I would never play again. Um, mm, mm, mm. Some, I mean, some of them were... 
I don't know. Obviously, better than others, but yeah. Was there any of that where you're like, ah, man, that one was that was kind of rough to get through, but it wasn't like terrible. But you're like, I don't know if I'd ever play that again. Um, no. Really? Um, yeah, I I honestly enjoyed all of the ones that I played. What so. about you, Maurice? Um, so I've been thinking about it. Hold on, gotta figure out how feet work. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm back. Um, your face is really close to the mic, by the way. Just let you know. <laughs> I was going to say you should say something really close to me. No. <laughs> uh, so I think uh, my least favorites, which start at a bar of like three pawns, uh, my least favorite is probably the uh, the Nightmare on Elm Street one. Really? Okay. And I think that one... Um, why do I think that? Either that or honestly... <laughs> German electro grid. Power grid? Power grid. It's, that one just takes so from, long to play. From my That's perspective, what it is. And I know that I don't get to, like, I only played the thing with you guys, but that one was the least, uh, this one was the least enjoyable to film because you guys <laughs> were slogging plane. through it. Slog. Oh, there was a slog. slog. Yeah. That was the problem with that one for filming. But see, that's different. When mm -hmm. you're just playing with a friend, it's different. You know, it's that's just true. You, you, you don't mind. <laughs> I was say, you don't Slugger. mind <laughs> hanging yeah. out with the person at the time. So. I've never played a board game w without being filmed, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't know. Yeah. So, yeah. Doesn't you know, know. It would be a different conversation. You know, we were trying to like make it interesting for you guys, but it's really hard to make that one interesting because there's yeah. a lot of math and like, mm -hmm. oh, you know, what I'm gonna do next, like strategy building. So yeah, yeah, I mean that one's rough. That one's rough. All the other ones though, all the other ones. Do you though. have any other? Things? No, that was okay. it. All the other ones though are like they're just good, wholesome family fun. Mm -hmm. You know, good wholesome family um, fun. We have a good mix of vintage and modern stuff. So yeah, um, I'm gonna run down the list of the ones that we've played and what we gave them as far as it like translates to board game geeks system because we do five pawns. And they do out of five star or ten star. Oh, so we're going corporate on this. Yeah. One. So, well, just because that's how I put them all into board game geek. And okay. Geek, and because I don't have what we gave every single game. Okay. That'd be a lot. So this is kind of the averages. Okay. So mixtape massacre, which was our very first episode, mm -hmm. uh, we gave that. It was just me and Maurice. We gave it a nine. Um, stand by it. Which, yeah, I would stand by that. That's a. And we played the live version of that. Oh yeah. It was just that was just oh, us yeah. as a Where? as like a family yeah. trip. We did a live uh, Facebook event. That yeah, was fun. Jeremy played with us. I think on that. Yeah, one. Oh, my yeah. roommate. Um, and uh, then Evil Dead Two, the board game, we gave an eight. I think that was mainly because of Basil, because yeah. I really loved that game, which is great. I, yeah. Because watch that episode. You go back to the episode. I have a whole thing about that, the making of that game. Um, then the thing was a nine again. That was all so, four of us. That was so nine. Nine. yeah, all four Christmas of us gave us. Uh, That's gave Jack Nicholson <laughs> <laughs> or uh, Curtis One Eye Snake. Nope. Pliskin. Yep. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Kurt Russell was his name. Yeah. <laughs> what did I? Did I get a Curtis in there somewhere? <laughs> you said Curtis. You said yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah Curtis was, Snake Eye. There you go. Um, Curtis Russell. <laughs> <laughs> That's full name. Nightmare on Elm Street was one of our lower ones. We got. We gave it a five. Oh, I stand by that. Yeah, I stand by it. Um, and then the Lost World Jurassic Park, which oh, that's not up here yeah. either, but Basil brought that one. Yeah. That one got a four. That was our lowest one of the year. Dang. I got the, the Golden Turkey Award. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, Friday the 13th got a six out of us. Uh, Monster Mayhem got a six. X-Men Alert got a six. That was just me and Reese again. Yep, uh, that's this one. Alert, which is I don't know I thought it was fun yeah uh, Power Grid got a 6 um, but that's because I think we were we were taking it out of like filming and playing it one on one it's, it's just funner that way yes um, the, and then Dungeon which is here and then the remaster which is in front of it uh, the, the original we gave a 6 the remaster we gave an 8 oh that's how much better okay. it, the, the remake it really really Add yeah. things to it. That good work, really good. remake team. Yeah, good work. that was very good. And um, so that that moves on to the two board games of last year that we gave Golden Pond status to, 
One of them was just me and Maurice, and that was Dwarven Smithy, which is right here. That one got a golden pawn, yeah. and then the the second one was King of Tokyo, which Basil brought up to us. Um, and I we have actually made. I mean, I I talked about it in one of the episodes. I actually made a physical thing, and the first people that will be getting this will be Flatworks Gaming. For Dwarven Smithy, and it is the Golden Pawn Award. There it is. <laughs> uh, Custom made Golden uh, Pawn Award. Yeah, um, solid chocolate. <laughs> solid chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> there will never be solid chocolate. Don't um, say never. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to eventually be but, solid chocolate. Yeah, thank you guys there at Flatworks Gaming. You made a great game. Also, the guys over at um, King of Tokyo, uh, I forget the name, the crater. Buffmeyer, Bingletown. Yeah, I forget the name of the crater. But thank you guys, too. Um, we'll get you, you'll get one of these as well. Um, I just got to make yours still. This is the only one I've got made so far. But this one will be heading over to Flatworks Gaming. All right, so there is another thing that we do on the show. Oh, God. Um, that is a big part of the show. It's what is in it? In the name of the show. In the name of the show. The Drunken Pawn. We also <gasps> do a lot of beer. Oh, so we yes. do a lot of... We've done a local, national, international stuff on the show. Um, we kind of didn't do that at first. Um, we didn't integrate that until later on. But there's a lot of good stuff. And since that is part of the show now, we want to do one a year. We're going to do what we call the Golden Stein Award. Golden Stein! Which is basically the Golden Pawn, but a stein. <laughs> and, um, beer. Yeah, so it's it's beer. And we drink, face it, we drink steins. Yeah, and we drink them. We drink out of the, the entire <laughs> stein. <laughs> Whatever, they're made of chocolate. <laughs> Everything's <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> Every episode you see, this is a different chocolate stein. <laughs> oh my God, it's the same, it. same mold, but different. Yeah, it takes all exactly. we to paint them and make them, and then we just eat blueberry, them. raspberry, kale, <laughs> kale, caramel. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, stand by the golden, the golden Stein Award. We're gonna give it to we. We discussed, we discussed it. Yeah, Badly. we did. No, I just said, I just, I just said this is the one that's gonna be this year. But next uh -huh. time we'll discuss it. And then he one. told us to agree on camera. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Just nods. It goes to. This is not a democracy. <laughs> it goes to Dayton local Branch and Bone. Uh, I think they had we used them. I think we used them several, like three or four times yep, this, really? last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah we so, did. Um, because they have a great selection of beers from traditional stuff to yep. experimental stuff. They're a great brewery here in Dayton, mm -hmm. um, if you're in town. Definitely check them out. I don't yep. know if they they don't do stuff nationally yet. I, don't I think, think that you can you can you can order stuff through them, and I think they will ship okay. it to you. There you go. Yeah, but they will be getting the Golden Stein. I don't have a rep, uh, to show you what that's going to look like yet. But they will be getting that. Solid chocolate. Uh, we'll probably just take it on down there, hand it to them, be like, here's your, here's your stein, and take it or leave it. No explanation. <laughs> no explanation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no explanation. Just be like, here's yeah, walk like out. Fun. Yeah, that sounds yeah. like a good I think we got it. we're all going to have matching suits. <laughs> Maybe not professional suits, but they'll be matching. Not, okay. Yeah. I'm but, honest. But well, I yeah, think we have is. a couple of beers yeah. tonight, right? We do. From oh Frank my God, we, we got bills. <laughs> so we're going to bust those open while we... Um, I think, I don't know if we need to discuss anything else. Maybe. Life, you know, what, uh... Oh, I do want to say... <laughs> miracles. Yeah. I do want to say thank you guys, too. I know oh, there's not right. a lot of there's you. Guys. Only, we don't talk about point, how many there are. There's 300,000 people out there <laughs> waiting to see this. At this point, I want to say that there's 36 subscribers. Nice. And I've been getting a few more comments here and there. So that's kind of cool. Nice. Um, not just Tom Landis. Oh, Boom. man. So, I feel um, like Tom Landis has actually been lacking on the last couple episodes. Maybe he should yeah. be the golden, and he should get the golden comment award. Oh, my he God. He only no, gets Lord, it if he comments awards. on every single episode. Well, he'll no, he's been lacking. Now. We're not okay, doing that. Anyways. He's got his child. Child. <laughs> 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 Whatever that is. But yeah, yep. um, thank you guys for you know being here for a, you yeah. know however long you've been watching the show. If you're new to the show, please go back and check out all of our great content we have. We played yeah. all these all these games you see sitting here. Plus we more. played them all. Plus, plus more. Plus, plus more. more. Sure. Because we just started the 21, uh, 2021 season. So yep. And there we've already done I don't know, four or five games, maybe more. A mm -hmm. hundred. Yeah. So, <laughs> Probably about a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> we started the half pint. 
pints. So half yeah, a new pint? series called the Half Pints, where we do shorter games that have a, a smaller run time, so like 15, 30 minute yeah. games. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's all just one thing. Um, usually we'll break up playthrough and reviews, but on that one it's just all playthrough and review all in one episode. That's right. Check those out too. They're, I have a playlist thing that has all of them in it. Has all of our play, has all of our playthroughs and all of our reviews. Um, it's done the work for you. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you just want to watch reviews, go there, hit the reviews, and you got all our reviews. So. Yeah, twenty twenty one. Wait for the twenty twenty one horse sense. That's yeah, it. That's <laughs> we'll get you. Yeah, horse sense. By the way, you can send us as much money as you want. We'll produce the hit Grammy and Emmy award winning show, Horselander. <laughs> <laughs> oh sure. no! Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Starring I'm Basil. Down. Stephen Basil. Yeah. The horse thief. Yeah. The, the horse, horse thief. thief. As the horse thief. As the horse thief. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do... You'll be hunting years. down him uh-huh. through the whole thing because he stole all of your horses. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do you years of training in jiu-jitsu <laughs> so I can choke out horses yeah. in real life. And if you watch the episode, there's some tranking, there's some winching, there's a mm-hmm. lot. It's a very involved... Well, this is, we're getting real yeah, deep into that. But Sorry. Anyways... Thank you guys so much. We're going to enjoy some good beers here. Um, that was a quick one, but that is our year in review. Um, a year in review. If you have any other questions, uh, you can comment. Mm-hmm. You can hit that subscribe button. Mm-hmm. Pour your stein on the subscribe. Don't do that. Pour your stein your on your keyboard. <laughs> Buy another keyboard. <laughs> Coat yeah. it in chocolate. So, yeah. Our Golden Pond winner tonight, Dwarven Smithy. Well... For 2020, Dorma Smithy and King of Tokyo and our Golden Stein Award winner, Branch of Bone. Check them out. I'll have all that in the description below. Uh, I think that'll do it for this uh, year in review, review, review episode. <laughs> yes. Review, review, review episode. <laughs> Happy birthday to the Drunken Pond. Yeah. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. All right. We well, the thing. we'll see you in 2021 here at the table.